So today we're going to do the handover video on the Swift Freestyle SE. We're going to start on the outside and then we're going to move on to the inside. So firstly, coming over to the passenger side, you've got your fill up points. In here it's just for your diesel and that just goes on to here. Opening up the passenger door, you'll notice you've got your bonnet release catch which is just on here. Pull that and that will release the bonnet. Now there's not many things that you need to know underneath the bonnet. Um, it's really just the basics of obviously jump starting the vehicle, but I'll pop the bonnet open now and show you where to do that from. So with the bonnet open, as you can see, when you jump starting the vehicle, your negative terminal is just onto here, which is directly facing you as you open the bonnet. And then right at the bottom here, you've got a little cap with a plus sign, which will indicate the positive terminal. I'll just come round here, you can see it a little bit better. Flick that cap up and your positive terminal goes onto there. Now, as I say, they're the majority of the things that you need to know um, for jump starting. Just to point out a couple more things, just whilst we're underneath here, you have your engine oil and your dipstick below that, your brake disc fluid, you've then got your engine coolant, your power steering fluid is then next, and then finally, in the corner here, you've got your washer fluid. Now, moving around onto the side of the vehicle, you'll notice that you've got your mains hookup cable as uh, or hookup point rather, as indicated by the little lightning switch there and that just simply goes into there and connects in. That will allow you to have 230 volts in the vehicle. You've then got your pump, this is for uh, your uh, fresh water and on the inside I'll show you how to prime your system using the pump to pull that fresh water in but as I say to fill it up simply remove this cap, put your food grade hose pipe into here and fill up the tank. Once it's running out, you know, of course, that you have primed, uh, sorry, that you've filled up the system uh, and it's at full capacity. You can then put the cap back on and off you go. You will notice you have got uh, another little uh, uh, switch here, almost. Uh, it's like a little adapter. That is simply for when you're on a, a smart site, for example. Um, so let's, uh, let's say you're on a smart site where you've got water uh, on your pitch. What you can do is get a hookup cable which connects into there and straight into the smart site which will ultimately feed this with, uh, with water whenever you use it. So you use a bit of water and instead of it draining the tank it will simply pull it from the site and put it straight into the tank so you can use it. So you never have to worry about running out. That's where you do that from. Now next you've got your, co uh, your cassette toilet which is uh, here. I'll open this up for you now so I can show you how to use it.